Next week, we're talking all about uh, niches. Um, you've heard this term before, I'm sure you have, uh, but it's a really important conversation to have when it comes to uh, building a business, starting a business, uh, and ultimately getting profitable in a business. So uh, before I begin as well, if you want the uh, PDF attachment for this uh, training, then let me know, drop a comment in the, uh, drop a comment in the uh, comment section and just type in niche. I'll send you the PDF uh, worksheet for this training, okay? But as I mentioned, we talk about niching. And what I found is that a lot of people, when they don't niche, they have uh, no leads. So they're struggling with their leads. Uh, they have got basically no one to speak to and build relationships with and ultimately uh, on board. Um, people are wasting their time. So people are finding that uh, they're having conversations with people on uh, a sales conversation, but actually they're wasting their time because those people are never going to buy. They're speaking to the wrong people who, you know, haven't got the money. Uh, they really just are interested and curious. And actually you want people who are going to buy for your service. So that's the second frustration. And the third frustration is uh, because you're having no leads, which means you're having no conversations. And because you're wasting your time speaking to the wrong people, well, of course, you're not getting any sales. Uh, you're going to feel burned out because you're speaking to these people. You're going to feel deplate, uh, deflated and your business isn't growing. Okay, so niching is really important. And where people want to be, what they want is that they want warm leads. They want to have an influx of people joining their pipeline, having conversations with people on a weekly basis. Um, they want to be able to build a tribe. So they want to build an audience uh, of their niche. Okay. And number three is they want to make sales. They want to grow their business. But not only that, by having a niche, uh, they can have more referrals. And uh, referrals, by the way, is like the, the holy grail of uh, business. Because if people are referring you, um, that means number one, you're doing a good job with your existing clients. But number two, your marketing's cheaper because you're not spending any money on acquiring new customers, okay? So hopefully uh, that makes sense. So just to reiterate where people are struggling with, they have no leads, they uh, are wasting their time speaking to the wrong people, and they have no sales as a result. And where people want to be with this is that they want warm leads, they want to have warm conversations, they want to be able to build a tribe, an audience, uh, and also they want, of course, sales to grow the business, and of course, to get more referrals coming in from their existing clients, okay? Now, again, if you're just tuning in, uh, if you want the worksheet, if you want the PDF attachment for this training, uh, just comment in niche in the comments below and I will drop in the resource for that uh, so you can have a read and not actually use that as a resource going forward. Um, so I'm gonna share my screen and hopefully you can see this in a second. Whoops, there with me, stand by. So hopefully you can see this. Cool. So first of all, when it comes to a niche, um, we need to think of two key areas, okay? And the first one is going to be the who. So I'm gonna draw a circle, the who. This circle is the who, okay? That basically is the people you want to work with or business owners you want to work with. Then, that was an awful attempt of a circle, so sorry. <laughs> uh, and again, the other one is the what. Okay, the what. And this is actually what you do for them. Okay, this is what you do for them. So let's talk about shift success, right? Ours is police officers. That's the who. The what is building a successful business. Okay, that's the who and the what. And at the intersection of these two is the niche. Okay, so that's the first insight I want to share with you. The who and the what, at the intersection of that is your niche. Now, sometimes in business, you can struggle with the who, all right? We've had clients who, uh, you know, they have they have a who, but it's very broad. So, you know, we have some clients who work with business owners, right? And they're in the digital marketing space. So 
having business owners as a niche is very, very, very broad. Okay. So we actually need to just make sure that is, uh, you know, that's more specific. So what they can do is actually make the what more specific. So it could be that you help business owners and the what is that you help them with uh, ranking higher on Google, which is very specific. Okay. So if you're struggling with the who, be more specific with the what. Hopefully that's making sense. That's the, uh, that's number one, what I share, want to share with you. The second key idea I want to share with you is um, around that particular niche. So number one is um, you've got to like your niche, all right? If they piss you off or you think they are tools, you are not going to last long in business, okay? You've got to like them. Um, if you don't like them, uh, number one, they're going to find out you're just in it for the money. And that's not going to end well. And number two, you're going to have a short fuse and you're probably more than likely going to quit. Okay. So you've got to like them because you are going to be spending freaking years with these people. So ensure you do like them. Okay. And by the way, that's one of the best things of being in business. You can, you can choose who you work with, right? It's excellent. So in the job, in the police, you don't get to choose who you work with, uh, which kind of its own frustrations. Um, but yeah, in business you can. So number two. So the first one, sorry, is like. Number two, key one, is can you help them get a result? If you can't get help them get a result, uh, number one, you're not going to have success stories. Number two, you're not going to have case studies, reviews, testimonials. And um, that in itself is not a good thing. Um, but also, people are investing in you to solve problems. And if you're not solving people's problems... Um, you know, you shouldn't be in business really. Now, results, typically, if you're watching this, you're going to be thinking, oh, you know, if I can get a result for people or you can't get a result for people, that will uh, grow uh, the more experience you come in business. So my biggest worry when I started Shift Success was, oh, Jesus, I've just onboarded 10 police officers. Uh, what if this doesn't work out, right? We all go through that worry. Um, but with time and being there for them and making sure you're going above and beyond, you will typically end up getting that result okay so number two you've got to get a result for them number three is squeeze this in will they pay will they pay um what i mean by this is uh do they have a budget to pay for your services okay or your product um if you are selling a rolex watch and you're trying to push that onto someone who's earning ten thousand pound it just wouldn't make sense that's what i mean by that I will say when I started Shift Success, the amount of people who said to me, uh, this would never work, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, it's too expensive, blah, blah, blah. Um, uh, obviously, we're very wrong because we've now got 200 plus members uh, inside Shift Success. So we've got hundreds. Um, so what I'm trying to say there is always do your own research. Always, always do your own research. And I recommend you have 30 conversations with your niche to find out if they will actually pay for your product or service okay um, the best feedback you'll get is a paying customer so they're the three things number one do you like them number two can you get a result for them and number three will they pay now the next key insight and this is where people can trip up is uh, on uh, categories and an actual niche so let me explain so let me just uh, draw this uh, bear with me um, so I've got this and what we're going to do is just do uh, category over here and then we have a niche okay so a category would be an overall um generalization of a niche okay so category in this example let's talk about shift success would be police officers okay so that would be a category where a niche though would be uh, police officers uh, that uh, want to become their own boss. Okay, so it's more specific. The category is police officers, but the specifics, the niche is police officers who want to go into business. Because when we market, we don't want to market to people who never want to go into business, that wouldn't make sense, right? We want to mark to those people who do want to become their own boss. Uh, and obviously, of course, they, they want a different career. Another example would be 
um, uh, e-commerce. So if we have a look at e-commerce, e-com, that would be the general category here. Um, but where people uh, want to be, uh, sorry, the niche here would be retailers who want to go online. Okay, can you see the difference? Category would be e-commerce, which is a very, very big space, but the niche is retailers who want to go online. Uh, another example would be um, accountants. So accountants would be the category, but the niche would be accountants who want to grow or are not growing. Again, categories accountants. The niche though would be accountants who uh, want to grow and they're not currently growing. So that's the problem and the outcome. So guys, hopefully that's made sense. Hopefully you've understood, understood what I've said there. Just to give, again, just to get a brief overview. And the first thing I want to share with you is the who and the what. And niche comes down to who you're trying to attract and what you can do for them. The intersection of those two is a niche. Uh, the big insight next is, do you like them? If you do, great. Number two, can you get a result for them? If you can, great. Number three, will they pay? If they will, fantastic. All three ticked, that's a good sign. And the last thing I want to share with you is to think of the category or the industry that you're going into um, and then think about the actual uh, specifics of that niche. So again, police officers would be a category, but police officers who want to become their own boss is a niche. Uh, E-commerce is the category, but retailers going online is the niche. Uh, accountants is the category, but accountants who are not growing and who want to grow would be the niche. So guys, hopefully that makes sense. Again, if you want the worksheets, uh, if you want the PDF attachment for this trading, uh, just comment below niche uh, and what I'll do is send that on to you. Have an amazing day, guys. Um, any questions following this, let me know and I will see you very soon. Cheers.